Hi everyone! Welcome to our third episode of Trey and Ziggy. Say hey, Trey. Hey! <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about our transportation struggles. Yes. <laughs> just, just all of them. Oh uh, man. If y'all out there that ever had to take public transportation, I know how tough and hard and how disappointing sometimes it can be. Fortunately, right now, we do have a car. Yay! I love this car. We love, got I love Francesca, the Ford Fiesta. Yes, that we're going to modify soon. Uh, Hope yeah. I can see a picture of it soon. What? You don't want to modify it? He said soon. Oh, I mean, <laughs> not soon, soon, but like, <laughs> eventually soon. Like that type you know, of soon. You know, like what we say. Say. And figure out exactly how many things we're going to change to the car. It's not going to be a lot. Okay. It's not going it's to be, be like three things. Two or three things. Okay, okay. I mean, Probably the third thing is going to be annoying. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about right now. What we're talking about is transportation in the uh, metropolitan area. Of Houston. Of Houston, Texas. Home of Texas. No. Yes, because the bus don't go in the suburbs. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, if it does, <laughs> it's one of those, uh, one of those uh, expensive uh, buses. That's why it's called the Metro. Yeah. The Metropolitan area. It's oh, didn't. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> but they, they do have those transfer buses, like you were saying. They go out like the. Oh, uh, yeah. They the are, parking rides? Yeah, parking rides. Yeah. So. Which are awesome. They're like charter buses and they're cozy. Yeah, but they like three dollars and seventy five cents. That's too much. Yeah, so That's way past my pay There's rate. people that actually go every day. I wonder if their jobs compensate them, like for transportation. You know how some people get their gas paid yeah. for their jobs. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, those a lot of those people work office jobs in Greenway Plaza or downtown. So yeah. I don't know. But either way, I mean, I feel like if they have, they work for an oil and gas company, they might. Because but know, why was somebody done it if he? But it's like, why would somebody, somebody still choose to ride a metro bus than drive their own car? How far do you have to stay? Okay. So, you remember when, so a long time ago, about four years ago, right, four years ago, when I first got my job at the chocolate bar, yeah. I was taking the bus all the way from spring yeah. Into downtown and then to Midtown. And I had to hop on that transfer bus, which was the park and ride bus. Yeah. But um, there were a lot of people. And I, I knew a couple of people. Like, I would see a few people that I knew on the bus. But um, a lot of them lived in Spring or some of them lived in Katy, Tomball. Like, <laughs> they lived far. Right. <laughs> They live far, far. <laughs> but, those are all the people, just the outskirts people. That's who takes the parking ride. Even with the the um, Dairy Ashford parking ride. Yeah. Or what is it? Attics. It's called Attics parking ride. It's the whole suburb area. And like, uh, I mean, they might have the option of taking the bus. Right. So I guess it's not just in areas where the bus is super limited. Right. But it probably is like... But like, I Probably guess. Like but you think sometimes uh, they share. Uh, a lot of people are like us. You know how we commute together mm-hmm. and we share the vehicle. Yeah. So. Oh, there. Yeah, there are ride shares. So like people like have like the person that actually went downtown, they have to catch the parking ride, and like they say the mother or the other the significant other, they're taking the kids to school or they're just you know they. Yeah. Yeah. So. I knew a woman who I would see on the bus, and um, she was actually, she worked downtown. Excuse me. And, oh, I'm going to take a sip of my wine. Huh? Mm-hmm. You don't have to say that a lot. <laughs> it's water. Uh, that's yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like. Anyway. Made my own sangria, got some raspberries and blackberries up in there. Mm. Yeah, I'm sipping on water. Yum, 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 red wine. I'm sipping on water again. <laughs> Hey, hey. Wait, oh, okay. Hey. You're not even drinking it though. Because uh, I'm talking right now. Yeah. Okay. When you're talking, I take a sip. Okay. Okay. Back to when I was taking the parking ride bus. Yes. So, there was a family friend that used to take the bus 
to her downtown job, but I used to always speak with her. And um, she was married with, like, three kids. Yeah. And, I mean, there was, like, different ages. Yeah. I think only two of them lived in the house. Uh-huh. Maybe one by then. I don't know. I don't remember. It's probably only one by then. But, um, yeah, her husband was going to work. I actually think he took a work truck. Like, I don't even think he used his vehicle um, to go to work. So, I feel yeah. like they were just trying to cut down on expenses as much as possible. Yeah. I mean, you know, people are saving. But also, yeah, she yeah, was... Yeah, people have ideas out there. Yeah. Anyway, also, she was in nursing school. So, um, so she over there probably makes <laughs> so, some, Yeah. So, they were, they were making some sacrifices. Yeah, but she, they got three kids. Yeah. Yeah, three kids. They was handling business. Yeah. But, I like, me personally... I'm a type of person, and uh, I don't. I love the ozone. Don't get me wrong. I like people that love the ozone yes, and save the agree. earth. Yes. Uh, however, uh, I had some bad experience with the uh, uh, community by the, the metro bus in Houston, and I'm a person that I'd rather burn double the gas than have to take a metro <laughs> bus because only because of the experience I had. Uh, on the metro bus. It's one experience or several experiences? Several Okay, pick your top three worst experiences you've had. Oh. And, then, and then I'll take them up. Okay, I'm going to start from <laughs> number three, which is like the just the third, the second, and the first, which is the most major one. Uh, the one that can, can talk this way. So the third one was, I guess, uh, I was on a bus and I was sleeping. On the bus, what's just a dodo for everybody that knows that you know to ride the metro? It's a dodo to sleep on the bus. However, I was super tired from work. I got off with really, really late. It was like a big party at my job, and we had to clean up extra, extra, you know, hours there. However, I got done, got off of work, have to catch the, the latest bus, the latest bus on that route, which is from West Highway to downtown. So I get on the bus. Lay my head on the glass, thinking that it's going to be a regular ride. I pretty much know when I have to wake up to get to the downtown. However, I woke up a little bit earlier than <laughs> downtown. I really had to, uh, I really woke up because these policemen got on the bus. And he told everybody to put their heads up, screaming at us. Now, I remind you, I was a little intoxicated. <laughs> After work, because don't tell my first bosses, but I was drinking on the drive. I mean, you're never going back to work for him. I never will. <laughs> Ever in my yes. life. I won't see nobody. I'm not going to put his business. I'm not going to put his business out there. But it's he's a steakhouse. A sh- he's a shady character. Very. But, uh, <laughs> so I'm like drunk, a little, a little bit, a little tipsy. Yeah, I was really drunk. I was drinking Jack Daniel all that night. Jack Daniel took a double <laughs> shot. <laughs> Keep them coming. No. That's how I was that night. I had like four or five of them. Oh my God. I started like, I had to, like I said, I got up late. So I got up around like 11. I started probably drinking around 9 o'clock while I'm working. I mean, I never got complaints at this job. I tell you that much. But however, uh, when I got off, I was really tipsy, drunk-ish, and I'm on a, I'm on a bus, and I'm good. that's why I was really sleepy. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I actually fell asleep. I usually don't go to sleep on a bus, but this one, I was just fading. So, I wake up to the cops screaming at us. I talk about to put your hands up. Uh, they were ready all the way to the bus, uh, back of the bus. Uh, it was like, they found the person that they got called for. And it's like, show me a hand. And the guy looked like he was reaching down. So they had to tackle him. I mean, arrested him in front of everybody. Took him off the bus. And then the bus driver had to just drive like nothing happened. Because <laughs> we was like waiting for everybody. Like waiting for the, uh, waiting for the bus driver to leave. And we just left. Right? God bless us. A whole person got arrested on the bus. We still, <laughs> we still had to go home. <laughs> that was my third uh, overall. So my second overall. It's where I thought I was going to be left downtown because sometimes if you, the people out there that ever have to take the bus, uh, you know, sometimes the bus can get there early. Sometimes they can get there late. It, and like the rare chance it get there on time. Rare. Really rare. I swear one time I saw a bus got there on time and 
a unicorn flew in front of me. <laughs> it was that yeah. rare. But, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> but, well, I'm just saying, I'll, I'll be yeah. over dramatic about the rain. <laughs> Am I? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Alright, so you said how you wrote the retro books before. Uh, you know, <laughs> years and years. Yeah. So, uh, I caught the bus for work again. Like, uh, this is the same job I had before. All these experiences mostly was from that uh, time. But, uh, the second time I had to uh, ride the bus, uh, ride away from my job was I got off the last bus at the, uh, my first stop. That's the, the last bus on that route. If I would have got off any later, I would have stuck at my job. But that's not the point of the story. The point of the story, I took the last bus to the downtown location and I was waiting for, if y'all already know, before the number changed on the retro bus, I was waiting for the 77, which is the MLK line. Takes you all the way down block with the key. Uh, I was waiting downtown, but I was waiting. Time was passing. I, the second to last bus uh, didn't come yet. So I'm thinking it already went by. So I'm waiting for the latest one, which is which is going to be like 1, one o'clock. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, wait, it's almost like 12, 12, 15. But I still haven't came. Now I'm thinking that maybe they canceled the route. Maybe they told all the buses to come in. How they going to let us know? Like, all it back then was just the uh, paper routes. They just told you the times on the paper. They didn't have like messages they have nowadays. I sound like an old person. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't send a text message out and then receive a text message saying it's going to be at this such a top down. Back then, it was just paper. And you had a call to see if the route was like late or whatever. Yes. So, so and it is, like and I people said. People always sound sleepy when you call. Yeah. Like, Wait, it's midday. Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, can I help you? Oh, my God. But anyways, so I'm like, I'm thinking I'm stuck. I'm like, who am I going to call? Who? Who do you call? Everybody out there, I have a question. Who do you call? Who can you call at 12 o'clock in the morning? At midnight. At, yes. At 1 o'clock in the morning. Who can you call? Email us at treyandziggy at gmail.com. T-R-E-Y-A-N-D-Z-I-G-G-I-E <laughs> at gmail.com. That was great. Was that, <laughs> yeah. ad? was that an ad? No, that's our real email address. Oh, okay. I for you people to send us. Oh, that's cool. Mail. That. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, I asked the question. Who can you call at 12 o'clock midnight? Who can you call at 1 o'clock to come and help you take you home? I, if you call me, depending on who you are, it's gonna be a ninety-five point seven percent chance that I say no. Okay, if call it, somebody. If it was me, call. It would be different. What would you do? You come out there on the first call. I'd be like, call two other people. Call your mama. Call your cousin. Uh, if they can't answer, whatever you know, you'd be call right there to, call, to pick me up. Yeah, yeah, you. Like I said, depend on who you are. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you one of my friends, I saw in high school, man. I had to talk to you in three, four, five, six years. She's like, why you calling me? Call your mom, call your cousin. <laughs> you like to like be friends. I like to be friend friends. <laughs> That's a note. Guys, who out there really love food mm. and sleep? I love me both of them. That's, that's all. I don't know. I, I, I really like food. I love. I don't like sleep. My food? <laughs> I love my sleep. I promise you, I can still choose sleep over food. If I could sleep in 15 minutes, the truth. I will bypass breakfast knowing that I can't eat till 12 or 1 o'clock in the evening. God, honest truth. So I get 15 more minutes. It's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. However, that's why. <laughs> Uh, guilty pleasure. But that's I'm another glad podcast. to acknowledge how ridiculous. Uh, that's a whole other podcast. <laughs> guilty pleasure. But anyways, like, I was stuck downtown around 1230. In there. If you've been downtown for at 1230 in the morning, it is not a pleasure. 
It's that. It's that. It's not a great. It's not like a a, a music part. It is the opposite. It's like a graveyard. It's scary. Yep. Yep. So you and then you just want to go home. Of yep. course. But the last bus finally came and picked us up, took us home. Last bus. I was so happy. You know how relieved. Now my number one bad experience on the bus. I just hate remember this day. Anyways, so I'm on my bus. Now it's not late. It's not a late night. You know, it's not like my other past two stories. It's not late night. It's actually probably like 10 30. I think it was like Sunday. I just got paid. It's Friday night. Uh, uh, anyways, it's, it's Sunday night actually. And I got paid. I mean, I got $135,000. No, I like, no. took off the last three zeros. It was <laughs> Hundred thirty five. I was struggling. The boy was struggling at my freshman year of college. I was struggling. People were was like, "Can you buy me lunch? Can you buy me?" I was like, "Bro, only got paid one hundred thirty five dollars." In my mind, I would say that. Outside, I'd be like, "Next time, you know, because I was broke." If you was in college, if you was in college listening to this podcast, and you was broke, I salute you, out, man. Woo woo. Woo woo. Because <laughs> everybody that I do, to a few exceptions, because there was some foreigners, and foreigners, parents had foreigners, whether you they had that, they had that, they, didn't, they wasn't rich, they had wealth. They had that stash. It's, it's different for being rich, having wealth, and they had wealth. So, I already stayed close to them, they still friends to me to this day. However, that's a whole other story, a whole other time. Anyways. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm lost. <laughs> um, <you're> <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, I got paid on Sunday. And I got on a bus, right? Now, I didn't have a debit card yet. I didn't feel like I needed to have a debit card because I wasn't too familiar with banks. And... I uh, love cash. So, I was like, give me cash. I'm going home with the cash, right? However, uh, he paid me short. So, he had to pay me next weekend. Uh, as soon as I came in Friday, he had to pay me. So, he paid me like $50 that Sunday, which sounds really, really bad when I was used to get 135 But, on the... Flip side, I already had money. So it wasn't a really uh, big L. I still took an L, but it wasn't really a big L because I was getting more money that Friday. So I'm on the bus, headed home, and I'm tired, and, I'm, and like my stop was about to come up. So I get it up, and it was a lot of people on this bus, and I, I was getting bumped into a lot. And I got off the bus. I know I had my wallet when I got on the bus because the only way I could get on the bus is a cue card. So I know I had my wallet when I got on the bus, but when I got off the bus, I don't know other guys out there that uh, fell on their pockets before. Or girls too. Y'all fell on your pockets. I know the girls I know they have big pockets. I mean, big uh, wallets. So they really, they don't put their wallet in their pocket. They put it in their purse. But most of the girls and guys that I know that do have a wallet that size in their pocket, they put it in their pocket. And you feel around, and you don't feel your wallet. Now, that's just one of three parts that made that back grow. <laughs> the second is, I don't have my cue card either now. It was okay to lose the money. You can replace money. However, I don't have my cue card. You can replace that cue card too. However, yeah. it's a little bit more steps. You have to have cash before you <laughs> to get the cue card. If I don't have cash, have minimum five dollars. Exactly. If you don't have cash, you can't get a cue card. So I'm literally downtown with no cash and no cue card. Now let's go back to the second story. If I if, 
If you call me in the morning at 12, 12 30 in the morning, I promise you. If you come back, call me back, and you say you call 50 other people and they can't come help you, uh, I'll be a person like, okay, I'll come help you, but I'm going to need some, uh, need some gas work, right? That's what type of person I am. That's how I think. So I'm back downtown. I don't have no cash. I only have a cue card. That takes out all the chance of me getting home at night. If I don't have cash and I don't have a cue card, I can't offer nobody money to come pick me up. He's stranded. Oh, thank you. Stranded, so stranded. <laughs> Thought that I should let you know. Okay. Yes, that's exactly, what, that's exactly what I wanted. So, it was so perfect. It was, it was like around 12 o'clock still. Because I got home late when I was in college. I would get home late. I had early class. Anyway, I'm over here like standing, about to dare about to cry, you know. And I don't really cry about a lot of things. I promise you I don't. You can ask the lover right there, Victor. I don't cry about a lot of things, right? Right. Correct. You remember last time I cried. Yeah, she heard me, guys. No, no, no. That's the story for another time. I'll be able to story for another time. I think that's a... So that's it. That's it. You know, sorry. That's between us two. You don't want to be real. I'll get paid that much for this podcast. Just be real. You got to offer me by like... Wait, we get paid? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't get paid enough. I get paid zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm salary though, so don't <laughs> worry about it. Oh my god. So I don't know if anybody out there that ever been stranded, period. Like even if you had a vehicle, let's say it's in the middle of the night and you had a flat and you know you, you know you don't have a spare, or you run out of gas, or your tire blew out. You don't feel like it is when it's stranded. Now thank God I still had a phone. And I could still call somebody, but in my mind, like I told you, if somebody called me at 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning, I need some gas money. Five, two, three dollars, I don't care. I want to get me a cheeseburger all the way back home. But if you don't give me no gas money, that makes it a little bit harder. Now, I might still come get you, me personally. But you might have to pay it forward. Like, next bill is on you. Next, like, I don't care if it's a cheese. I don't care if it's just a cheese. Next bill is on you. But anyways, it's either here or there. But uh, I'm, in a, I'm in downtown. I don't know who to call. So now I had some friends uh, at PB, and she was uh, she was in Houston at the time. And uh, she came and got me. I called her. She knew exactly how I felt. She knew she felt my emotions were really really high, and she came through and came and picked me up. And like, what a good friend. Yeah, yeah. Even though I stopped talking like three years ago, to I don't know why. But like, I don't. Even, I think I follow her Instagram. I think I follow Twitter. But I mean, we haven't talked like three years. You ever have a friend out there that you haven't <laughs> talked to in three years, but you you keep them on on Facebook and Twitter? Like yeah. you you can tell that when they had a baby. You can tell when they graduated. <laughs> you can tell when they they, they had the. I don't know, like, Yo, you can tell we could, anything. Yeah, we could do a whole episode <laughs> about like, social media. Social, oh my god. Versus reality. Social media is, uh, if, if you are on uh, the babies. Hold on, no. Hold on, no, if no. you're a 90s baby, hold on, I'm a little right here. If you have a 90s baby, you knew the time where all you had was dial up internet. Yes. You had AOL. You had, oh my god. You had, exactly. And your mother will pick up the anyways. I'm not gonna go through that. I'm not gonna go through that. Anyways, <laughs> like get out the so, sun. Exactly. You <laughs> <laughs> over here about to play in the middle of the game. I used to, man, I used to play on Cartoon Network. Get off the internet. I need to use the phone. Get off the phone. I need to use the internet. <laughs> what do we do both? <laughs> Thank God for five G now. Oh man. Thank God. Four G. Six G. I can't wait to oh, come man. out. Six. It's a six. We were just so fortunate to see a whole evolution of technology. Yeah. Like even though it wasn't Basically, the very yeah. beginning, like it yeah, wasn't yeah, the very big, but like we but saw the very how, beginning was like how was Edison. Yeah, we got to see 
the evolution of technology yeah. in our 20... But it was supposed to be... Okay, hold on. What? This, this could be a whole topic. Oh, sorry. This could be a whole topic. You're right. We got, we got to do a whole topic about technology in, in, 90, in the 90s, babies, whatever. We're we going to name it some... Whatever. Okay, continue with transportation. Oh, yeah. Metro. And then we got to get to you, huh? Yes. Okay, you got top three already? Yeah, I have top three. Well, right, well I have I have three extremely memorable ones. Okay. Because I can't. It's like so. Yeah, so many. Yeah, yeah so many. I know. <laughs> so many. But I'm pretty sure I, I'm really I'm really done with my story. Like that was my that was my top story because I was almost like to make me cry. It takes a lot, and it, my emotions has to be through the roof. And but I was stuck downtown. Where I could, I could, I know I could have called no family to come pick me up. Oh man, that was some, that was some worse. So I pray that for nobody. What are your other two? I told, I said that. Oh. I said, I, thought, I, said I told my third one, that's told my second one, that's turned my third Oh one. yeah, she <laughs> said. What were you? I don't know that that last one was really long, but. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, I could. Yeah, I know we kept going well, in I mean, and out was, of this time. Yeah, you was. That's you going out there. <laughs> no, I'll tell no you we kept on, like, going on topic. And so I was oh, yeah. forgetting what you talked about before. Yeah, you guys going off topic. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, I do that a lot. So my top three. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll talk about the shortest one first. Yeah. Um... It was when this homeless man tricked me into giving him my number. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of my stories uh, revolve around homeless men and just men on the street trying to holler at me. And yeah, I'm like, I'm taking the bus. Like, what? Why do you think? How do you think? I'm concerned about this. <laughs> uh, if there, I mean, if there are women out there who have picked somebody up at the bus stop. Please email us because I would love to know the story and how it turned out. I, I'm really interested because there's been so many instances. But okay, so this one guy, I'm on the bus and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he goes, you know, the Metro bus has a handicap ramp yeah. for people with wheelchairs. Yeah, and he comes on and he's just like. He's rolling, rolling, rolling on, and he's just talking to the bus driver because he sees him every day. Now, I'm actually unsure if this, I think this guy is homeless, but I'm not sure. Like, he might just be, like, on the street a lot and still have a home. Mm-hmm. Uh, it kind of seemed like he still had a home, but I don't, I'm not sure. But he gets on there, and he's just like... I think he asked somebody. I'm trying to think if he asked somebody first yeah. for a phone because he needed to call. Um, he was calling some place for benefits or whatever, and so he was just like, it just asking. Around. He had asked the bus driver, yeah. and then he had asked me. Now, when someone you don't know asks you to use your phone, you're supposed to say no. Say guys. no. Um, uh, say <laughs> especially no. when you're on the metro bus because there's. There's a lot of different people. I've seen, I've seen some crazy things that like if the people turned out crazy that want to use your phone. Either they're crazy or they're trying to steal it. Exactly. And I mean, this man was. I turned, I turned out an old lady. I'm sorry. I turned out <laughs> an old lady. I felt bad on the inside, but I looked at her and she looked very suspicious. And what did guys? What did, what does the Bible say? The enemy comes in all forms. <laughs> And I saw the enemy in her. God was speak- he was like, my son, it's time for you to turn around and turn on the cheek. And I did that. Because she's like, I'm like, I'm like, why are you this old without a phone on a public transportation? I, no, it doesn't sound right. If my girlfriend had to take the bus, I promise you, she would have three cell phones on her. In a life alert, just in case. I would not and send a life my, alert. I would not send my grandma. And if you all, right. I, if but you, what? she could be by herself. Like she could have either scared people away in her family, or everybody else could have passed away. Uh huh. People would be going to but everybody could pass away. I have friends 
Grey's Anatomy. I have friends. I don't watch that <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. So, yesterday, I was watching. I know. The, the, the I, that whole no, that whole episode, I was confused. You was the only one in the room that ever knew what was going on. <laughs> but yeah, I walked in it late, like towards the end. That's you the one that changed it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna get into Great Anatomy. We was awesome. Shout out to Shonda Rhimes. We, we, I love you. Uh, also, the people that write uh, write Big Mouth, I love y'all too. Uh, okay, this, this is different. Shows. If you are just like me, like Zandra, we just started watching Big Mouth. We late, but please send us your comments. It's never too late. Uh, this show. I love this show. Right, Zandra? Yes. It's hilarious. Uh-oh. It's hilariously inappropriate. Yes. Especially for children. Under uh, 21. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should not watch the show until either you you are older than 25. Hey. Yeah. I just turned 25. Hey, guys. Everybody who's like. Now, she is 30. 19. What? Uh, I'm 26 years old. Oh, you tell your age? You tell your a lot of people, a lot of females don't do that. Oh uh, well, I'm not a lot of females. Okay, you're not. You should know that. You one female. Yes, that's what you are. You're right. And the yes, is okay. one female. Okay, back to my story. Yes, because we're going off topic again. Yes, you. <laughs> so this guy asked me to call the number, and I'm looking at him crazy. He's like, "Oh, I can, I can tell you the number to call," and I was just like, "No, I." I mean, you you could just use use the phone because he was tied in. The, when you get on the bus and you have a wheelchair, they buckle your wheels down yeah. just in case, so it's it's more secure and it's safer for that person and everybody else on the bus, just in case the bus crashes or something. Oh Jesus, that's crazy, right? <laughs> forbid. Yeah, but I mean, that's the safety precautions. Yeah, but um, he's calling somebody and. It was kind of, my phone was kind of loud, so I could hear just like a voicemail coming uh-huh. up. And he tried again, and he told me, he was like, oh, the lady went to pick up, and then he gave me my phone back, and it was greasy. <laughs> and my phone was greasy. And I was just like, oh, I had to hide my face, because he was still looking at me, and then he was like, trying to smile, and then I forgot what, he tried to just. Come with a conversation, and I'm just looking at my stuff and like, Lord, please let this stop come soon. Yeah. And it did, but not soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> He's he gets off at the same stop that I have to get off at. Yeah. Sure. And he was asking, he was like, "Oh, if the lady calls, can you call me?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what, where, where do I call you at? Like, where, you, you don't have a phone. <laughs> and he goes, oh, you're right. I'll, how about I just get your number? And so I'll just call whenever I get the chance, and I'll check to see if the lady called you. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. And so I give him my number. And then I, never, see, I never used I that. At, I should have used that when I was in high school. <laughs> I look at the bus driver. And the bus driver, he's a, he's a man. He was he just laughing, was shaking his head. And it was at that moment uh, I knew I was like, oh shit, I think I think I got got like he got my number. <laughs> and then he was looking at my shoes and was like, oh, those are some nice shoes. Trying to pick up a new conversation, I was like, oh, I have to go. <laughs> I have to go. This was while I was at U of H, so I was in third ward. Um, <laughs> man, I wish I had that pick up line. I'm gonna call somebody random <laughs> and then just hang up. Oh my gosh! But okay, so that happens, and then okay, the second, the second time. This is probably one of one of the worst days of my life. Oof. There's there's only a handful of worst days of my life because I like to stay optimistic and I like to make the most of my days, even mm-hmm. if I'm feeling bad. You know, I just know. It's, gonna get better the next day but on this day there was just one unfortunate event after the other it was a series of unfortunate events for the seat uh, i heard that movie before uh, the show yes the show was awesome it was it was awesome you watch all the episodes I, oh i'm not done i know you're done there's a lot of things to watch um okay <laughs> <laughs> so i'm coming back from my internship 
And so I'm on the bus. My internship was off campus. It wasn't that far off campus, but I had to take the bus to get there. Uh-huh. It was off of Alameda. Shout out to the Shape Community Center. Ooh. Helping me gain my communication skills uh-huh. and creating newsletters for nonprofits. Yeah. Came in handy. Came in handy. Um, so, yeah. I get back to the bus stop and I noticed it started sprinkling. Like it was just raining. It was drizzling. It was drizzling just a little bit. Yeah. And then cars passed by and they're like splashing water. Oh, ain't that the best? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. And I got like a little wet. And then, I, and then I started just getting pissed off because like car, those cars was acting like they didn't see me. <laughs> and then it started raining harder and I was like oh today would be the day where I don't have a jacket or an umbrella and when right. I was at U of H I always had an umbrella you just never knew mm-hmm, you never I always had an umbrella except for this day <laughs> and I tried to find a tree the only tree that was available was an almost naked tree <laughs> I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to huddle under the side with the most leaves, and it was not working because the wind started blowing. And <laughs> I was getting soaking wet, and the bus finally came, and I was drenched. I still had to go to class, but I was like, you know what? I can't even go to class like this, and I'm not about to go change in my room and walk all the way across campus to go to class. So I'm just going to call it a day. <clears throat> And that's what I did, and I actually hung out with one of my sororers, because she got caught in the rain, and yeah, we just ate lunch together, mm-hmm. and I chilled out before I lost my mind. So, I mean, it ended on a happy note, but that whole situation was unbelievable. I was, I was drenched, and I don't, I don't like the rain. You don't like the rain? <laughs> I don't like the rain. I thought they actually could you stand it. Can you stand the rain? You know that song? Can you stand the rain? You started it. No, I did. Okay. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> I started nothing. Don't be blaming me. Okay. Now, the last one. The last this one. is probably the worst one because it's the most unsafe and the most the stupidest I've ever been while taking the bus. So, earlier Trey talked about being stranded, and I probably went to go volunteer, or, you know what, I think I had to go see a show. Um, I had, I used to take dance classes in college, and I took, like, art classes and just humanities courses that required you to go and see shows sometimes, like, um whether it was a ballet or opera or something. And after the show got out, I was lost. Like, I was trying to find the right bus stop. Now, if you've ever been in the museum district Uh in Houston, Texas, Texas. (laughs) the streets kind of wind and turn into each other. And so I'm trying to... I go to this intersection, and the intersection's kind of slanted, and the bus numbers, there's two of the same bus numbers, but they go to different, they turn into different routes, so I had to make sure to get on the right one, and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me, <laughs> like, which one to get back to U of H, and, but, okay, so, I was terrible with directions, yes, I mean, not are. saying that I'm... Not right now. Like, I'm still pretty bad, but oh I'm way, God. I'm way better than I was. I'm not gonna get on. Okay, Stop. but back back then oh. I wasn't driving, so that wasn't helping with my memory at all. Because all I was doing was taking the bus whenever I had to go to and from these events, and then I'd be on campus, and then my friends would drive if we went somewhere. So I mean, yeah, my mind wasn't on driving or like directions because I wasn't the one having to use them. Uh-huh. Um, so, anyway, in this instance, it's getting late, and I see, I cross the street to where I think is the correct bus stop, and I see a bus pass by, and it was on the opposite end, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if that's the one? Mm -hmm. And then I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I look at my phone, and it says, the bus doesn't come until, I think it said, like, 
one, and then there was like a five a.m. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> was this the last bus? So I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, and then I'm like walking to see if there's any other bus stops around that could take me to U of H. <laughs> and then I see this security guard. Uh, coming out of the museum and he's like walks to his car and he just notices me I'm in this bright yellow jacket uh. just walking around by myself nobody else is around because everybody else going home like all, all of the events over there are over with I'm still trying to find the right bus and he goes ma'am do you need any help I'm like yeah I'm, I'm just trying to find I'm just, I just need to find which bus is my correct bus. Like, I can't figure it out. And he goes, oh, I think that was the last bus that passed. And I just looked so stunned because I'm like, oh, my gosh, if he said that, and <clears throat> that's what I was thinking, then he must be right. And he was like, do you need a lift? Do you need to, like, where are you, gonna, where are you going to? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to U of H. Do you know where that's at? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I think I do, but uh, you might need to help me just to get to, like, because I haven't been there in a while. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, okay. And in my head, I'm just like, oh, he's, he's grown, but, like, if he works in the museum district, why wouldn't he know where he bitches? Because it's kind of close. But I don't know where he's from. So, anyway, I get in the car. <laughs> The truck, the security truck. He's like in a, a work truck. Yeah. The only reason why I trusted him uh-huh. is because he's in a security uniform. Yeah. And so, guy, you know what that means, right? <laughs> Start driving around with a security <laughs> uniform on and wait till you see somebody stranded and then come through, right? That's what it... Times of desperation. This was nothing <laughs> but the blood of Jesus <laughs> covering me and watching over me this night. And a whole bunch of other nights. But we're in the car, we're driving, and I think he took the wrong turn. And so now I'm just, like, lost. I'm like, oh, no. Like, in my head, I'm just trying to figure out. He's like, oh, which exit is it? I'm just like, I'm not sure which which is the first one that comes up. And then he was like, and then we were um, getting on, like, uh, 288, but it wasn't, like, the right direction oh, and so I was just like wait no this doesn't look right and so I'm like getting getting my phone out and I finally like turned the GPS on I was like oh no we gotta uh, we, we can still go straight and then yeah. like take this exit and then like get, yeah. yeah so anyways we corrected the directions and he was just like it was like regular conversation it was kind of awkward I was just like oh thanks for taking me yeah I was, I was just like I was yeah. so nervous like the bus to stop running I don't know what happened yeah and he just started asking very suggestive questions. Like what? He was just like, "Do you have a boyfriend?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> In my head, I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> and then he was like, <laughs> "No, the phone says what? The other one? <laughs> what is it?" <laughs> It, it, it's just so direct. I was just, I was shocked. What do you say? I'm so direct. I'm so ready for it. <laughs> okay, so, okay, direction wise, we're almost to U of H when he asked this question. He goes, I'm trying to figure out why young girls don't like to give oral. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I have, okay. She said, This is my stop. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I don't know you. What? What's that? What are y'all questions? What's <laughs> <laughs> I just look at him like, like I'm not. Gonna, in my head, I'm like, I'm not answering this. I'm like, what? Who do you think he is? Like, I, I don't know. What, where did? Where the hell did this question come from? Where did it come from? And he's like, uh, Oh no, no. What? I, I said, I'm sorry. What'd you say? <laughs> And he repeated himself. I was just like, I don't know about that. I don't know. He's like, oh, what do you mean you don't know? Do you do it? I was just like, there are a lot of women <laughs> my age that do it. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> I'm sure there are some that you haven't met. <laughs> and he was just like, hmm. 
And then he, at this point, he started just like, the, his look just started like kind of changing. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, you could just pull over. Because I noticed we were getting like yeah. on the campus. I was like, oh, you could just pull over uh, right here and I could just walk the rest of the way. Yeah. And he's like, oh, no, 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 I could just drive up, like, to your door. I was like, no, you could just pull over. <laughs> it was, like, a, a long strip till you got to um, Cougar Place. Really, I was just, I was just. That's where you used to, used to stay at, Cougar Place? Cougar Place, Cougar Place, hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I stayed everywhere on campus. Even if I wasn't signed up to stay there, I had lots of friends there, so I was there all the time. So I, I lived there, too. So. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I was really trying to get to a place where there was a lot of people, and luckily, it, I mean, it's a college campus, U of H is always lively, except for maybe during finals and holidays, but I pu- we pull up, like, down the street from the dorm or something, and it wasn't that far, but there was, like, a security guard nearby, U of H always has the campus security rolling yes. on the golf carts. And so he was just like, all right now, bye. And I think he was trying to like tell me, like talk to me some more. Or uh, I forgot what he said, but he was like trying to either like get my number or like he was asking about like my friends or something. I don't know what he was saying, but I believe the presence of other people and the security on campus just, um, you know, made him act a little more normal. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I was just trying to keep him, like, as distracted, like, the directions and all. And, yeah, that was probably the worst night of taking the bus. And I was just so, when I got, I was so relieved when I got inside the doors. And I was just like, thank you, God, that I got home. Yeah. I was like, and then I was just cussing myself out after that. Like, what the hell were you thinking get in the car with this stranger? Like, why don't you just call your dad? Like, my dad lived all the way in spring. And he would have been pissed that he had to go all the way across town just to take me down the street. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, because at that time, it wasn't like no Uber or nothing. Right. It was just taxis. Yeah, I don't take and taxis because taxis I've taken taxis too. too. And taxis. Y'all, they're, y'all. <laughs> There is some crazy. Okay, that's that's another. We could do like three parts of transportation, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but taxis, <laughs> they got some creepos. But yeah, I don't know why. I just I just I was just like, oh, it's so late. Like, oh, like I don't I don't know where how why I, didn't, I probably just didn't want to disturb anybody. Like I didn't have any friends that with cars that were on campus. Yeah, where was that? This is, I didn't know you. Oh. This was before you. This was like, I, I think I, sophomore year? Uh huh. So, so this is pretty early on. I think uh, it was, actually, it might have been freshman or sophomore year. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was sophomore year, though, because I was dancing more. And I had to do stuff like that, like go to the museum district. But. What's the lesson? Don't get in the car with strangers <laughs> at all. Like that that thing that your parents teach you when you're little, it also applies to you when you're in college. Mm. Uh, well, you know, hmm. I got to got to take I gotta, Uber sometimes. I got in the car with somebody or with a stranger. Who? I was uh this is when we were together. I was uh walking back home from uh the grocery store. This is where we still didn't have our car. And we was taking the bus down. And I got groceries. So to save two dollars and fifty cents, <laughs> I walked from Kroger's. Kroger to all the way to the house, to the parking. Well, I didn't make it all the way because there was a lot of groceries and the plastic bags started to oh, So these these cup this couple, they pulled over, they saw me before uh when I was walking and they turned around and they uh it was like you need some help. We can take you. Uh, we can take you to your apartment. And I was grateful because I, we was all money, and we just almost spent most of our money to for groceries, so we can last the rest of the week to get paid. And the last thing I want to do is either catch an Uber or catch a bus. I wanted to keep all the money we had. 
and I'm over here by the apartment. Like I still, I'm like still a hundred yards away. However, I'm still by the apartment, and they see no. They just pulled over. They helped uh, help me, and I got in the car down the street. I was there. You know, it's when you get a dope. Life is hard. Nobody tells you what's right or wrong. The, the, yeah, we have laws, but at the end of the day, it's all about it's all about your safety and how you judge people, and that can only just take you so far. And how to act quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you think a situation is turning. And know your weakness and know your strengths, because uh, one of my strengths is Zandra's weakness, and one of her strengths are my weakness. When it yeah. comes to organization, that's my weakness. I can't really organize. Like, she just helped us fly to Atlanta and back. I, I could do that, but it's a weakness, and it's take, it's, it will take me a little bit longer. Her, she can do it. All she needs is the money. Yeah. <laughs> and she make it happen. Now, got the whole trip planned. You got the whole trip planned. Got the weather Vice versa. She, her weakness is directions. Yes, directions. I've been working on my whole life, and it's just so difficult. People try to tell me tips and tricks, but I don't know what it is. It's like if I'm not doing, if I'm not going to that place every single day, my yeah. like myself, if I'm not driving there, then I'm gonna forget the directions cool. and how to get there. My strength is directions. I will remember going inside the building and leave it out. If I have to go around the corner, come back, I know exactly what I need to turn. It's different cities is difficult, but I can still have a, I can, I still have a, a, a sense of it. So, life is, is a, it's a journey. Uh, when you don't have a car, it's a big journey, but it's a learning uh, experience from it too. Because once you learn the ins and outs of a city, all the back roads, while you take your uh, metro bus and the rail and stuff like that. Will you actually get a vehicle? What we gonna talk about? I guess it's gonna be a part two or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, be all about our cars. Yes, yeah, our car situations and <laughs> now and uh, pretty much how we got Francesca. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The years leading up to Francesca yeah. Ford Fiesta. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, but it, at the end of this podcast, it's just that. When you, when you, it's always a learning experience for everything. And without a, when, it, when you don't have a car, you have to take the metro. I talk down on metro, but my driving skills and me getting around the city, uh, metro helped me. You know, you don't really, uh, really credit certain things like that because you really disguise. Like I told you earlier, I'd rather burn gas tw- twice more gas to try to take a metro bus. Yeah. But at the end of the day. When I did take the metro bus all around town, I learned different parts of Houston. Right. Stuff that you really didn't know when you was in yeah. high school or middle school. Pretty much when you was in college too, you didn't know about it until you had to catch those buses uh, around town and be independent. It shows you, you know, when you get out, it's your closest thing to independent until you actually move it out your own house. You know, I would say that is probably the most invaluable thing about having a metro system in a heavily populated area like Houston, Texas because it's just like there's so many people like there's so many people that can be forgotten about in a big city like this and when you get on the bus you see people from everywhere you might see people that have like car troubles or you might see visitors and they're just downtown, and, like, they live in a hotel, so they right. just catch the city bus. Just momentarily. Yeah, or you, you can see people who are disabled. You see people who just might not have a car. Right. All people on the, on the bus that probably uh, got their license suspended over something stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, they was just had a bad mistake, and they probably won't get their license back in four years. Yeah. You know, you don't know who's on that bus with you. You don't know what crazy person, you don't know what same person is with you. At the end of the day, it's all about judgment uh, of character. And you got to see who you can trust and what I trust. Like I say, I don't, don't give nobody your phone. Just because, 
they can have the sweetest face in the world. Yeah. Always That's- have always think about what will happen if I don't have your phone anymore. Well, think about that. How hard it is to get another phone. How hard it is to God, everything like somebody don't give somebody uh, a tablet because they need to see something. Nothing. Your belongings stay to you until you get to your, your final destination. Right. So, but that's my takeaway with right of the metro. Yes, they have they have some bad times. I, I told y'all my <laughs> worst experience with metro. Period. <laughs> However. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Yeah. And there will be a brighter day. Yep. And when it comes to that best show transportation situation. You have to believe. Have that. to believe. And that use that use that as motivation to get whatever you want to get. Motivation. If you want a vehicle, you want a motorcycle, you want that big lifted truck, bro, just use that as motivation. Because only, I don't know too many people that love just to take the Metro. I don't know if you know anybody that just loves to take the Metro. But I don't know too many. I know a couple. I know a couple. That's it. <laughs> that's because they haven't grown up yet. But the people, I, the other people I know, the other 98% of people I know, they hate taking the Metro bus. I, I mean, I know people that took the Metro bus once and they never went back to it. You know, so use it as motivation. If you still catch the bus right now, you know what I'm saying? Use it as motivation, you know. And this is just talking about people in the Houston area. Yeah, I don't know. Anybody. Like, the, the metro system in Houston is way different than, like, other cities. So, I mean, other cities might have it worse. Probably so, like, Chi-Town. Yeah, Chi-Town. well. L.A. No, Ch- Chicago and... Like New York, they have they have probably more decent systems mm. than us. Chicago, they got a lot of trains. Like, the rest of your sorry, I'm sorry. All around, sorry. Man. I'm like, your why leg am I so heavy? <laughs> I'm like, it's a war. Yeah, but we, you know, I love the rail though. Yeah, well, what about the refund checks? <laughs> Tell them about the refund check. Let yeah. us know at the bottom. Who at, at the bottom, like I'm on YouTube. Let me know <laughs> on Instagram page or the SoundCloud, whatever you can leave a comment, email us with that refund check so we can know who we need to uh, ask. <laughs> well, uh, you get a free cue card. You get a free cue a what? Cue card. Oh yeah, you get a free cue card. <laughs> that is all at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna put a link in the bio, right? No, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put a link. Put so, a link in your bio for real. Uh, I didn't. Yeah. I don't know how to do all that. I'll help you. I know so I, I I just I know nothing. All but I do you, you edited your bio by yourself. You know how to do this. No, I didn't. Okay, I, my well, grandma, well Trey, I I can like my grandma. He don't know what it she, is. She she We're gonna close out my, on episode <laughs> three, part one of our transportation part one. troubles. I think the part two could be a little bit shorter. Yeah, definitely. It definitely will. This is way too long. Yeah. But, but it, uh, it was needed. It was needed. But I'm about to choose gone. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to uh, chew this gum this whole night, so... Okay. Yeah. This is Ziggy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Damn. We out. We out. <laughs>